Hey guys, Michael back here for some more story time. Just sort of wandering around out here a little bit. And um, so in my previous story, I talked about college and how I, uh, I moved uh, in this town, Monticello, Arkansas, Southeast Arkansas, for college, and I never left. So, um, yeah, and I talked a little bit about my, about my, my career and, some, and how the hand of God, he, I, I truly believe he guided me into where I'm at today with my career. Well, the next part is it's time to get married and have kids and all that kind of stuff. So, I I, I mentioned I was working at this job, and uh, the company there they hired a uh, young lady, and um, to to manage some office business type stuff. And um, you know, I was I just graduated college and uh, started my first full time job, and I I did not want to start some kind of office romance, so I stayed away. You know, did my best to just, uh, and uh, I was a bit shy myself anyway. And um, so I um, eventually, we, uh, I met who is my wife today. We we started sort of talking, hanging out a little bit, and went on our first date. And uh, one thing after the next, uh, we were, we were, I guess, in love or whatever you want to say there. And, um, we dated for six months and I knew she was the one and I proposed and then um, we were married and I think in about five months after that and um, started our life we uh, we we lived in my little I had a trailer just north of town here that um, I had set up when I graduated college and uh, we lived there for a little while and um, enjoying the honeymoon years you know and um we we um left that house and we we sold that trailer actually and uh, that place it was a trailer on 10 acres that i, I bought this 10 acres and uh, put a trailer on it and i had big plans for this place um i don't know that i've got any pictures left from that but that i can find anyway but I just had big plans for this place, and it was going to be my homestead, you know, and um, I was going to eventually build a house on it. And I was young and uh, didn't have any money, or I uh, had this blue tractor out here. I did have it, but um, I worked my tail off around that place and just never got anywhere with what I had and the resources and, you know, that type of thing. And I, I could have eventually gotten there, but um, having a, a young wife and was looking at a family, you know, starting a family, and um, this, uh, it, the, the place just really wasn't where I wanted to raise a family. Uh, well, where you didn't want to raise a family for sure. And so um, we started looking for a house, and um, we bought a house together, our first house together here in town. Uh, so we moved uptown with a little small lot, and and a uh, little white house on the corner and uh, we lived there and um, we had our first baby um, and I guess we had her we had been married a year and a half two years something like that when we had our first baby and a uh, little girl uh, my daughter and um, I uh, you know I built a privacy fence around this around this house around the corner around the corner lot there and had that and tried to build me a few little garden beds around there because that's just what I do and I just didn't have a ton of success with the garden but um, I tried it was just, it wasn't a real sunny lot and um, but I tried to grow a few things and we had chickens for a little bit there in the backyard and then I um, I bought uh, we bought um, some land and we again we were going to thought we were going to build a house and so we bought some land i think we had 15 acres we was really proud of this place and i was out there doing some work on the weekends at that time the blue tractor it was not i didn't have it back over here it was back um back home again since we moved to town i didn't need it so i had taken it back over back to home back to my grandpa's and so i didn't have the tractor uh there on that place but i was out there working just constantly trying to get ready to build a house and we were looking at that and I built me a little chicken coop. The first thing I built on this property and um, had chickens and all that kind of stuff. I never, I did try to do a little bit of gardening there, but um, just it being separated 
to where I went there every day to check on the garden. It just really didn't work out well. But, um, so we had that land for a little while. But we just quickly realized as we started to plan for building a house that that just wasn't for us. Um, it was not for us. And so we actually sold the land and um, found a house that we loved. It was way out in the country. Uh, had seven acres of land. And so we sold the land, sold the little white house, and we moved out to the country. I was so glad to be back out in the country with some acres and some room to roam and uh, just a little, really just a little country neighborhood out there that uh, nobody was real close to each other. Like I said, we ever, I think every lot was about five to seven acres. And uh, so we were all spread out out there and uh, just really liked it out there. I loved our house. Um, but, and we lived there for about three years. And, um, but it being so far out and our kids were getting active here in town, we were constantly driving back and forth out there into town for things with the kids. And, um, that was really getting difficult. Um, <laughs> I forgot to mention we had our second child, but when we, we had him, my son, who is now, um, seven, we had him when we, uh, we were right as we were moving from the white house out there um, he was just a baby and uh, so anyway we lived out there and uh, had a great time but like i said the kids were getting a little bit older uh, you know nicholas my son he was um three at the time and my daughter was you know she was starting school um so we we moved to this place and uh, we, this is where we were wanting to find a house the first time, but um, we couldn't. And then um, we, uh, but we found this place and our, we just love it. I love this place. I love living here and I love my barn. The, the barn was the first thing I saw. You can't miss this big red thing. And uh, when I saw this and thought of all the potential for gardens and chickens and kids to run, one second. All right, sorry about that. Had to take a little break. Son, come out to ask me a question. Well, I'm talking about where we're at now. Here at this place with my garden and my barn, and chickens, and all that. And uh, I just we we love living here. Uh, we're we're right here, just outside of town. Um, I can be at Walmart in a few minutes. You know, it's a measure of being close to town right but i'm still on four acres on a bit of a dead end road where we don't have to worry about traffic much except for just a few neighbors and uh, so i don't worry about my kids and we're we're close enough we're family and friends and things can come by it's not we're not too far out like we were and um just being in the right spot that's where i feel like we're at right here um and as my story continues over the next few weeks, you'll see why being here is going to be important um, in the future. But um, I'm going to close this story, part of the story out uh, for today. Not a whole lot to it, guys, but um, I promise you I'm going somewhere. And um, but I love I love where I'm at. You know, we've I love um, I love what we my family has here. I love what we have in this town with our church and our friends. And I love just living here on this place, you know. And every place that we've been, you know, I thought, well, I could just live here. You know, I'm fine. And I don't need this, don't need that. But then plans might change a little bit. And, again, I believe that's the hand of God guiding us and guiding our family. And um, I know that right where we're at is right where we're supposed to be uh, for right now. And I really look forward to the future. Yeah, as you, as you see, I like to, I like to plan, and like to look to the future and my garden, you know, and things like that. But then also sometimes things change, and we move or do things like that. Um, again, I'm not moving, but sometimes plans do change. And so I'm going to be talking about that in the coming weeks. I appreciate you guys listening to me rattle and ramble. It's not a whole lot going on. But I'm going to close this video out. Leave me a comment if I said anything that you want to add to. I appreciate you watching. I'll catch you on the next video. Goodbye.